for the sign of Virgo, hello and welcome to my channel. Keep in mind, the roles can be switched, okay? So if you're thinking, wow, that doesn't sound like me, but it sure does sound like my my person or the person I'm dealing with. It can be switched. Uh, this could be someone new that you're dealing with. It could be someone coming toward you. It could be someone from the past. Okay, these are general readings. So you have to be open-minded about it. They're not personal readings. Okay, so for the recent past energy, we got this five of wands. And the card below is the hangman. So that's the recent past energy. Five of wands, it's showing it's about competition. It could be work or career. Or it usually indicates romantic rivals. But don't be afraid of competing. Just know that you have something to offer and you can be successful. But you have to try just to see results. Your need to believe in yourself is going to have to be stronger than ever at this time or in the recent past. So you would have needed to hold your head up high and have faith that you would end up in the place that's right for you. Also, you could have been thinking of, a, of making a career change in the recent past. Yeah, so you would have, have to had to believe that you could have been successful or it would have been a success. It's about believing and then you'll come out on top of whatever the competition is. Now, it's paired with the hangman. The hangman is showing that you're at a crossroads. There's some confusion here. Uh, crossroads such as only with two options, in or out, up or down, yes or no. You could find yourself wanting to do something, but you really have no idea of what it is or how to do it. So if this happens, it's a sign that you need to stop, relax, and take a look at ways that you might need to let go of go let go of something maybe attempts to control life situations people things it's possible that there's an outdated outdated old attitude or wish that you need to let go of any sacrifice that you make is going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of so this should be a thoughtful reflective time especially if you're looking well, let's put it this way. It will be a thoughtful, reflective time if you're willing to look at if or how you might serve your own best interests by being willing to change. So the, that's the recent past energy. It could have been last week. It could have been last month. Um, it looks like you were confused, just kind of not sure what to do, how to do it, or should you do it. Just confused, confusion there. Like I said, you may have needed, or you probably should have let go of something, because this is about letting go also. And it, would have, it probably would have helped you to get unstuck, and you probably would have been able to move forward. But something you needed to let go of because it kept you stuck. Maybe let go of an old, outdated attitude or way of thinking. And because it's with this Five of Wands, wow, you could have been dealing with someone that brought a lot of challenges and obstacles to this connection. And it caused you to struggle for dominance. There was a struggle just to stay on top of this connection and it caused the two of you not to see eye to eye a lot of times. Your person could have been pursued by several people or maybe it was you and it caused a big problem here. So there was something you needed to let go. It causes a big, this competition caused a big problem and it caused confusion with the hangman. Now let's move on over and take a look at what's going on for the present time, the present energy. We've got this very interesting Five of Cups. And it's with the Lover's card. So the Five of Cups, it reminds us that where we put our focus in life has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. You could find yourself 
asking the question, what will you choose to focus on? The implication is clear. For example, you might think, hmm, should I cry over spilled milk or should I focus on the milk that I still have and get on with things? This Five of Cups is about watching where you put your focus and make sure that the focus is for your highest good. Because you see in the picture how he still has, he still, there's still two cups in his hands. But there's three on the ground that have spilled out whatever was in it. So it's a choice to make with the Five of Cups. Yeah, should you just focus on what's still good in your hands or keep looking at what's on the ground and be disappointed? Because the Five of Cups is about some disappointment, some loss, some regret feelings of abandonment or maybe unloved. Now it's with the lover's card which is associated with the astrological sign of Gemini the twins. It's possible that you're feeling ambivalent about a relationship or situation in your life. Really ambivalent. It could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another. Now the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some people say that there are only two modes that any of us operate under at any time. And that's either fear or love. So when you can choose, it's saying it's safe to choose love at this time with the lover's card. And I say this because when the lover's card talks about love and relationships, it's saying it means that this is a time that's likely to bring love in big capital bold letters to the center stage of your life. So this is either a new relationship or a powerful rebonding of an old one. So basically with the lover's card and the five of cups coming up for your present energy, it looks like there's something that you are disappointed about. Yeah, you're feeling really Maybe you feel abandoned, but you're just experiencing some upset. But it looks like there's somebody that you got a lot of love for. A whole lot of love. This lover's card is like that twin flame. They call it a twin flame card or the some type of twin flame energy is here. So you could be dealing with your soulmate. And it looks like you, you're disappointed about something that happened. Well, that's how you're going to be feeling coming up mid-July. Could go, could go into August. The time is fluid. So let's take a look at the challenge. Now, we've got this Ace of Cups. And it's paired with the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ace of Cups is a very powerful card in the tarot. When it comes to love, happiness, affection, like all the aces, it's about new beginnings. Although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. Things are looking up. People will respond to you with love, happiness, goodwill more than usually at this time. So you'll be feeling really good about life in general. And this is also a great time to make friends. And how do we do that these days? I guess everything is done online now with this crazy virus out there. So... Ace of Cups is beautiful. It's about deep attraction. It's about warmth. And like I said, happiness, love, new beginnings. Beautiful. And it's with another beautiful card, the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is showing that you got a great deal to be thankful for. A whole lot. All kinds of relationships, your finance, your health. All these things should be going well. You might need to consider how you got to such a happy situation and make the best of it. Be sure to share what you have, even if it's just a kind word spoken to someone in need, because we get back what we give out. If you're in a committed relationship, this card it means that it will move to the next level. Living together, engagement, marriage, childbirth. It's also about second chances, so someone could want a second chance with you. It's about commitment to Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful cards for your challenge. So why are you so disappointed, Virgo? Why? 
I'm picking up for the challenge that someone wants a new beginning with you. Yeah, because these are two beautiful cards. And if you're with someone, they want a second chance or they could start to finally want commitment. Now, let's take a look at the outcome. We got the King of Pentacles, and it's with the Page of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. There's another beautiful card in the tarot. It speaks of balanced male and feminine energy. It holds positive qualities, both masculine and fem feminine. Often, he indicates a person in your life. Usually, it represents when it's representing a live person. Excuse me. <laughs> if it's representing an actual person, he's rever referring to a very kind and loving type. This person will have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen. The King of Cups, it's all about kindness, it's all about compassion. So there's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is. So when you get this card on a reading, so nurture yourself and allow others to nurture you. Yeah, someone very warm, friendly, and tolerant is in this connection. And they want to offer, looks like they want to offer a cup of love. Someone could be, uh, be contacting you. Someone's going to reach out in a really good way. Who doesn't want the King of Cups in their, in their life? Warm, friendly, tolerant, loving. Um, they, this person wants to connect with you. They want to reach out to you. And it will be what you want to hear. That's what the King of Cups is about. I know what you're thinking. I don't want to hear from this person. <laughs> Maybe they're looking for a second chance. We got second chance in, in this uh, in this reading. So the other outcome, we got the Page of Pentacles. And this card is about boredom. You see how this young man, he's only got one pinnacle in his hand, so he probably has a lot of free time. Pentacles is about um, saying and doing things to shake things and people up for a little excitement. You might want to rethink the impulse, find a better use of your energy. We all know excitement, it can be created. It's excellent energy to support you when you have tedious work to get accomplished. This page of Pentacles. It also gives you focus, backbone, and a will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. So, page of Pentacles. And this King of Cups is the outcome. So let's recap the reading so that we can get the complete picture. So, Virgo. It looks like I said, um, it looks like you, you're experiencing some disappointment or you will coming up maybe mid-July. It could be towards the end of July or it could be around now. Some type of disappointment with the person you're dealing with. If you're not dealing with someone, it could be a family member. It could be someone new coming towards you and you'll be disappointed, but there's a, there's a strong attraction there with this lover's card. And it could be a lot of love. It could be your soulmate that you're dealing with. There's a lot of love that this person has for you or you have for them. Now, it looks like your person, um, they're going to be reaching out to you. We got this in the, in, the, um, in the outcome. Now, it looks like they want a new beginning. And it will, it will be challenging for you to accept this cup of love that this person wants to bring towards you. Because... In the recent past, they probably bought a lot of, they probably brought a lot of competition in this connection. 
So it made you feel like you had to struggle in this connection. You had to do a lot of fighting off competition. And it caused you two not to see eye to eye a lot of times. Yeah, there was a struggle for dominance. Romantic rivals, this person that you're dealing with, they brought a lot of obstacles to this connection. So it looks like it caused you to be confused in the recent past. And like I said, recent past could have been last week. You know your situation. But it looks like I think you got a lot of love for this person. And they let you down. They let you down. But it looks like they're going to be reaching out to you again. Offering you a cup of love. They, they will be contacting you. They want a new beginning. And they could possibly even ask for a second chance. Or they'll let you know or give you the impression that they want to take the connection to the next level with the Ten of Pentacles. But your thoughts for this outcome is that uh, Page of Pentacles is the Page of Pentacles. Is that you might think that this person is maybe not to be believed. You might not take it, put it this way, let me rephrase that. You might not take it seriously. Because the Page of Pentacles, they're not that serious. When you hear the word page in the tarot, that's a youth, that's a student, that's immaturity. So you may not take it serious. You might come off like, yeah, it may take some time for you to believe what this person is telling you. But the person has come, so they'll be reaching out to you. They will be trying to come back towards you. They want, they want back in. And if they're already still in the picture, they'll be trying to be more warm, friendly, and offering love. And they'll be trying to co connect with you in a more romantic and sensitive way. Because they're trying to start a new beginning with you or make it feel like it's a new beginning. And you got a lot of love for this person. It's, it's saying so right here. I'm looking at this lover's card. And it's it's popping out of this reading more than all the cards. So you got a lot of love for this person. And um, it looks like you might have to make a choice. If you're going to cry over the spilt milk that happened last week, last month, six months ago. Or you're going to focus on what's still good in the connection and, and get on with things. So... Looks like you got a choice to make, Virgo, coming up in July. So good luck with that and good luck with your person. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. Also, I put a link below of the extension of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario, and what will happen in the two weeks? What will happen in the next two weeks for the both of you?